You are leveling up all wrong. That's why I'm going to prepare you for season one by making it as simple and straightforward as possible. Our goal is efficiency. For that, we'll be leveling in world tier one. We want to get all of our renown as quickly as possible. We're going to grab all of the side quests that take us through dungeons. That way, when we're clearing the dungeons later, we're doubling up on how much renown we're getting. This map will be in the resources channel on my Discord if you need it. We'll want to make sure we hit every waypoint on the map. Not only does this give us renown, but it also allows us to get to where we need to go faster. Make sure you hit up dungeons for any aspects that you want for your build, and feel free to do any dungeons that aren't in the Nightmare Sigil rotation. As you can probably guess, we'll be doing those dungeons when we complete our sigils later. Don't forget they buffed Silent chests, so always keep a few keys on you and open them when you see them. Speaking of chests you want to open, Skytech Gaming, Intel, and Signal RGB join forces to bring you this Diablo 4 inspired PC. The potions inside react to your health and resources in real time. The Signal RGB app syncs with your devices from any brand to take your game lighting to the next level. The Skytech team designed and 3D printed this case with cooling and performance in mind. This beauty is hand painted. The chest contains the 13th gen Intel 13 600k and the RTX 4070, which gives you all the legendary hardware you need to defeat Lilith and save Sanctuary. If you want to enter the giveaway, click the link in the video description below. Ow! We'll complete all of our strongholds as soon as we're within two levels of them, except for Temple of Rot and Onyx Watchtower. You can also save Core Dragon if you're playing with a team. With the buffs to Tree of Whispers, it's actually a really good source of experience, so feel free to stop and do those anytime you see them. If we're solo, we'll run Temple of Rot on repeat by re-logging before we hit the bell. Or we can do Core Dragon if we're in a group. If we find ourselves short on items we need, we'll go and do Onyx Watchtower instead, as it seems to give the better loot. Don't be afraid to use your obols as you level to fill the gaps in your gear. This should be enough to help us bridge the gap to level 50. Here we'll clear our Capstone Dungeon and move into World Tier 3. This is where we're going to start running Nightmare Dungeons, and we'll continue to run Nightmare Dungeons until we hit level 65. We should be able to clear our Tier 4 Capstone Dungeon by level 65. If not, level up a bit more and come back. Once we get into World Tier 4, we're going to start running Helltides anytime they're available. And in between, we'll continue running Nightmare Dungeons. Our goal with Nightmare Dungeons is to keep the monster levels two levels above us. So don't run anything harder if you don't have to. Any time that we spend looking at the gear in our inventory is time that we're not spending leveling. So as a basic rule of thumb, we'll always put the highest item power gear on, especially when it comes to the weapon. We'll always replace white items with blue items, blue items with gold items. And if we manage to find an item that has an aspect that we need, replace the rare item with the legendary item. And don't forget, you don't get more salvage materials out of your gear later, but you do get more gold. So salvage everything while you're leveling up. And that should be everything you need to know for an efficient leveling experience in season one. But don't forget the real goal here is to have fun. So take it at your own pace and don't worry too much if you fall behind. But let me tell you one more thing. Join our community in Discord.